from our Steam game is under five dollars. Uh, this game is Alder's Blood. Uh, the prologue is a prequel to Alder's Blood. Uh, the game itself is a tactical strategy combat style game. Uh, it's focused on stealth and preparation. Uh, and it's a sneak peek into the twisted world of Alder's Blood. Uh, it's not a demo, and it's uh, and it's free. So, cool, cool stuff that it's free. Like free, free is a good price. Um, but yeah, let's play. Uh, the Iron Man option enabled. The game will not allow manual save. The game will be auto save. So, uh, let's not do that. <laughs> I'm not an Iron Man. Come on. I'm not an Avenger. Keep it secret. Alright, this game is an exclusive prologue to the main story of Alder's Blood, available on Steam. Pay us a visit there. Yeah, like they, they do have the uh, the sequel to this game available on Steam. Alright, rabbit hunt. Strange, the rabbits seem to be gone. They should at east, downwind, otherwise I'll scare what's left of them away. Alright, let's see, to move Charles, select any space within... His standard movement range, represented by the white outline. As long as you move within the standard movement range, Charles will not tire himself. Charles can move freely, making as many adjustments as desired. So as long as he doesn't exceed the white border of his movement range, however, uh, every node he travels decreases the remaining number of nodes by one. Alright, moving through tall grass grass or bushes hides Charles away from enemy sight. The special type of terrain is highlighted by purple on hover and grants concealment. But beware. Only silent actions will keep Charles hidden, even in concealment. Cool. Alright, so... I guess the wind is blowing left to right. Because that's the way the trails look like they're going. I guess I was supposed to go there. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Alright, well, I guess I'll end my turn. Well, I'm not seeing anything, so... Drax, a shrieker! I would pay some decent coin for the feathers if I can reach the inn and the rest of the pack is not lurking nearby. Alright, stamina points represent how much Charles can do before he will be exhausted. Charles uses stamina to, to use his weapons and tools. Stamina is represented by a bar of white tabs. Yep, right there. 10 stamina each. Most attacks, in addition to their damage, take down one stamina. But some special abilities may take more than one stamina to have a read abilities description for details. Now, uh, when stamina drops to zero, the character is knocked down. The character will stay in the state and will lose his next turn. Now, we don't want to do that. Charles can also spend stamina to increase his movement range. Icon's an extra cursor will show you how much stamina you will, you will use to move the highlighted spot. All stamina will be restored, but at the beginning of the next turn, as long as Charles will not be exposed and taken. So, follow the monster tracks. Ah, oh, poop. Oh, it sees me. Ah, fail. Thought I could get. 
Thought I could get to the bush before, <laughs> before it saw me. I could not. I wonder, is it, will that actually hit him? Uh... Ooh, got him. I win. Alright. So... Where are these monster tracks is where I want to know. <laughs> it kind of tells you where to go, but I wasn't paying attention. There it is. <laughs> this could be either two ways. Either this piece of junk fires or I'm neat. Alright, so to initiate range combat, click on the right ability on the, on the abilities bar. When this opens the targeting menu, highlighted highlighting available targets within range and, and line of sight. Select the enemy you want to target. Open fire with the shoot button. Yep, caution. Most ranged weapons are allowed to alert enemies within a certain radius of your position. Now you can switch weapons by. You can switch weapons by on their. Ah, that's weird. Uh, on their button in the middle of the bottom right corner of the screen. With your knife, knife equipped, you can initiate melee combat, select a corresponding ability on the ability bar. Click on the ground next to next of to the enemy <laughs> to move into striking proximity of an enemy. This, you know, I just thought I was stumbling on the on this stuff. I, I think that there's uh, some translation issues, maybe, or some typing issues. Either way, it makes me seem like I can't read, and I can, I, I swear. <laughs> Choose a direction to target and click again to launch your attack. Attack unaware enemies from behind with a small weapon to perform a backstab. Backstabbing an enemy immediately downs them. Cool. Little roguey stuff. Now that's a clean kill. Time to scavenge. Alright, go scavenge. Uh, scavenge. Luke gets worse with every carcass. Not a good sign. Uh oh. Hello there. That's a hunter. Alright. Study his companion for a brief moment. His future shrugged by the hat. Anyway, we're looking for a place called the Crown. It's a hill southwest of here. There's no road in that direction, but you you won't miss it, sir. No other landmark for miles, sir. Eh? Corners of his scarf tilt up. Right. Better turn back, boy. Dangerous place these wastes. I intend to, sir. I'm not on. I'm on my way to the end. Fine idea. Says you for a moment, unblinking, then lifts his bandana and spits. Cool. All right, so all right, getting my stamina. Go to the end. I'm trying to go to the end. Probably could have just ran straight there, but you want to play it safe because you never know these games. They might they might throw a little to you. The game's exclusive. Is an exclusive prologue to the main story of Adler's Blood or Alder's Blood. Available on Steam. Yeah, okay. Same thing we were. Hunters in these parts? Beth is not going to believe me. First things first, I need to talk to Cora. Maybe she'll want to buy some of the Shrieker parts I scavenged. Not much, but I'll take any money she'll give me. That's right. Hey, Charles, what brings you here? Beth finally kicked you out of the house? <laughs> Uh, Cora, you're funny. Evening, Cora. Believe it or not, she still humors me, likely waiting for me to bring back dinner. I'm glad to hear it. Do you think of any? Do you think any more of my offer to put you both up at the inn? You know it's not safe out there, Charles, especially now. 
brought some of these monster parts that you might be interested in. Dodging the subject again. Okay. Show me what you have gathered. Uh, I have some shrieker feathers. These two long ones are in good condition, right? Gotta be worth something. Shrieker feathers, huh? I'll take him. Here, take the payment. Thank you, Cora. I think you've made a mistake. There's too much money for these scraps. Just take it without complaining, Charles. Just promise me you'll you'll talk with Beth about moving in here, okay? Promise? I promise. I'll talk to her, Cora. But only talk, okay? Charles, there is always work for you here. And Beth. Since my old man passed away, we have more work than we have able hands here. I could use the help. I know, I know. I need to head out before it gets too dark. I'll talk to Beth and we'll see what will happen. Okay? You know where to find me. Stay safe, Charles. And if you run into Abel on the road, tell him to move his ass back here. Woo. Bye, have a great Calm time. down. Cora's right. Like always, the waste are becoming more barren. The monsters are roaming more frequently. Without the abundance of easy game, they're drawing closer and closer to surrounding homes. It's time to put aside my pride and accept Cora's offer. Beth won't argue. She only stayed with me on the fringes so I could work my trade, hunting. I know she would prefer to move closer. Cora and Beth grew up together. I'm confident this will all work out. Alright. Well, I'm assuming that's the end of the little tutorial. Uh, so I'm going to end this video here. Uh, start at the new mission. Uh, yeah. That will be the end of the video. So if you liked what you saw, hit the little like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, comment. Let me know. What you think of the video or the series uh, it really helps me out a lot and uh yeah check this out it's free i mean you can't get a better price than that i have not checked out the uh the sequel uh, but if it's anything like this uh, i think it'll be pretty good and yeah thank you all for watching and have a nice day